Recording in progress. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the uh, June 20, 2024 Finance and Administration Committee meeting. My name is Jim Spear, I'm the chair. Michael Gardini, Mike Salmonson uh, are on this committee. We have Matt West, Borough Manager, Treasurer here, Assistant Manager Alan Gazzardo. And let's have approval of minutes. Anybody, approval of the May minutes? You guys get a chance to review the May minutes. Yes. Okay, I move to approve the May minutes. I will second. We'll second. Okay, all in favor of approving the minutes. The minutes are approved. Thank you very much. Uh, treasurer's report. Mr. West. So the treasurer's report, the profit uh, budget versus actual report was included in the meeting packet. And I would be willing to entertain any questions the committee has. There wasn't any like there were any surprises? Nope. Nothing that we haven't already discussed in previous meetings. Um, we're tracking pretty well. We're still, we've still got about $100,000, just over $100,000 left on real estate taxes for the current year. That's typically um, those few holdouts who like to wait to the end of the year to pay it. Um, also earned income tax, you know, we're, we get that throughout the entire year. And because we haven't been collecting earned income tax for that long, it's only been a whole year, we really don't have good data to see which months we get more. And so I'm interested in tracking that to see like, you know, okay, we, it, it shows 60% of earned income tax right now even though we're not even halfway through the year, and this is through May, is that a good thing? Right? Is that, does that mean we're going to be collecting more, or is that on point and we're only going to expect to get the 40% the rest of the year? I just don't have enough data, long-term data, to see what those trends are yet. Are we still getting questions from people who are like, what the heck is this? They don't recognize... Uh, yeah, we, we got maybe one last week. It's really died down. Okay. Um, this week has been parking, 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 yeah. parking, parking, yeah. parking, yeah. parking, yeah. parking, 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 yeah. parking, 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 so if you look at all of our, our income, we're at 83% for the year. You know, that, that's, you know, it's one thing to look at the line item, to look at all, all revenue. You know, that'll help us really, really show what all revenue is uh, for the borough that way. Mm -hmm. Great. Any other questions? No. All right, that sounds good. Um, audit update. We are continuing to move through our uh, 2023 audit of financial records. Um, our auditor is in audit mode now. Uh, we had uh, some really good support with professional services. If you remember, as part of the 2024 budget, we budgeted for CPA support services to help us navigate the 2023 audit since nobody here who are who is in the admin office were in the office for most of 2023. And so we just need some extra help to get all of the uh, required documents uh, in line for our auditor. It's a lot of questions, it's a lot of work, it's a lot of detailed work, and it spans across all departments. You know, it's not just Kathleen. Kathleen is you know, uh, managing the project, but you know, every single one of us are touched by uh, <laughs> the, the audit process and requires us to go and find some data to provide. So everything's tracking good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we keep getting questions and we have answers to the questions. Okay. So, um, and there's no projected ending to that. They just, when they're done, they're done. Right? Correct. Okay. And so, you know, while DCED requires municipal audits to be done by the end of April, I'm not aware of Maybe there's a few outlier municipalities that actually get the audits posted, completed and posted to DCED by that due date. I would like us to continue to strive for that goal. And one of the things that helps get that, to, uh, helps achieve that goal is to have really good sound business processes in place. 
things in the past couple of years. When you have transition in administrative staff, it really disrupts the administrative flow, accounting flow. And so we're, we're, we're dealing with that aftermath right now. And that this year's audit, the 2023 audit, it's going to take longer just because there was so much disruption last year. Yep. The goal is every year then we focus on increased uh, efficiencies in business processes to limit the amount of time the auditor is in the borough. Because the more time the borough, the, the auditor is in the borough, that means we're paying more for the audit. We want to try to minimize that. That is ultimately the goal. 2024, you know, the 2024 audit. I'm hoping it will be much better than the 2023 audit process. And then moving forward every year then, we'll just get that much more efficient. That's what we're working on. And you will also see on tonight's council agenda, the motion that was before this committee last month for the first budget amendment. But it's on the council agenda for consideration to draw your attention to the budget versus actual report, the first two line items in the expense, they don't have any budgeted numbers. And so that budget amendment is to address that, to create budgeted amounts for those two new items moving forward, which will also help us for the 2024 audit plan. Okay. All right. Um, Let's move on to schedule of bills. Did you guys get a chance? Yeah, no surprise. Scroll through the I bills. Saw. Yes. Um, questions? Anything to point out for us? There weren't anything. You're going to see the audit. Um, and you see Barbara King Thornton, that is our CPA firm that we have. And you see it, it hitting the codification expense line item, which is not the right expense line item, it should go into um, professional services, mm -hmm. which was a new line item for this year's budget. So that will be corrected. I think it was already corrected today. Okay. This was generated prior to that correction. Okay. So when it gets approved, I'm just curious, it's, you know, is it, uh, we approve it at the business meeting, is that corrected already? Or it's, you know, this matter? is an accounting yeah, yeah. issue. Okay. The, the value is the same. Okay. It goes to the same uh, company. It is how we keep track of that expense. Mm -hmm. Instead of putting it into 406-317, easy to go into 401-300. Yeah. So it's just an administrative extra, an accounting exercise, reassigning it to the correct expense. So even after we approve it, the business meeting that it can still be recounted in motion? It can. Yep, you are that. That's council. Just, yeah. We do that all the time. Our accountant will say, oh, it better fits here than. Yeah, it, right, right, right. And so the auditor is looking for the paper trail of the amount of bills, that value of the bills that were reviewed and approved, and making that link to, okay, what was that check that was cut and what was approved by council? The expense account, that's not what you're approving. So that is us. That helps us link to the budget, right? Because right now, if you look codification, that's going to be out of whack because it's hitting the codification. If you look at the budget versus actual, when next month you'll see budget versus actual, it'll be reflected in professional services, and everything will correct itself from an accounting standpoint. Okay. If there are no further questions, you guys want to make a motion to approve. So I guess I will make a motion to approve the schedule of bills for the general sewer solid waste capital highway aid and grading funds totaling $662,385.04. Second. All in favor of that? That passes. Or what are we saying? This is to recommend. Recommend. Yes. Approve it and recommend that council consider it at the meeting tonight. Okay. And if I could also, just to end, uh, if you look at the sewer fund schedule of bills, you're seeing um, some payments of the dedication uh, that the, the council put towards increased sewer fund fees mm -hmm. for the maintenance and repairs. And so you're going to see that general sewer service, that $19,775, that was for the cameraing of our sewers. Mm -hmm. And the line above it, the 9680, that was to repair a, a fractured pipe that we discovered as a result of that cameraing. 
and you're going to hear me give an update to council this evening that we found another one and that we will be repairing. But it's good news in that we actually have the funds available to do it. It's working as designed. So kudos to council for prioritizing that and uh, enabling staff to be able to be in a position to react and correct those yeah. things. I know that heads off much bigger problems down the road. Yes, it to does. To be able to do it now. Yes, it does. <laughs> OK, excellent. Uh, next item, motion to approve proposal for extended architectural construction documents and revised administration services for Narmouth Bridge. We need to make a motion to discuss it? So this is going to be on the, um, the agenda for tonight for council's consideration. Um, we'll have Matthew Yoder from VSBA be in attendance tonight. He will be here to present the final uh, design for uh, the mural that is being proposed to be installed on the, on the bridge. And as, as I've been getting up to speed with the bridge project, VSBA's, their contract obligations, their scope of work was established in 2010, right? So we're 14 years into the project, and they were like, hey, they were looking at all of the time and energy that they put into it, and we're like, um, I think we've gone well beyond what our budgeted amount was in 2010. They have finalized the design, which council will see this evening. This is for continued contract management and design management services as we uh, progress into construction. They will need to be involved in the installation of the mural, just making sure that the bridge is constructed, and architectural um, um, guidance uh, you know, during the construction process. So this is to get us across the finish line. Yeah. And yes, this is continuing to be reimbursable at the moment. That's what I was going to ask. 5 So we're at five percent on the hook for five percent as of now. Right. So five percent, and what, what was the proposal? I know it's in the other packet. Proposal uh, sixty-five thousand, like just over sixty-five thousand. Yeah. So it's three three grand for us. Yes. Also, uh, as we were saying before, the bridge project overall has not been waiting. For on account of this mural, right? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> this mural has been working on the in the background. Yeah. I believe in my absence the past two years, there was a presentation by VSBA to council. There was an original idea of having a like a contest amongst three yeah. different artists. Right. And council made the recommendation, no, it's not the best approach. Let's just direct VSBA to do it. Mm -hmm. And VSBA provided uh, several different versions to council and they selected an option. There was a public input um, exercise also. Right. And so tonight that you're going to see is that option that was selected by council as well as that public yep. input. Yep. Okay. But this has not been delaying the bridge. That's right. No, but not one of those things that we've been waiting for. There are bigger <laughs> issues that have been delaying. Okay. Which is a great segue. There is an emotion on tonight's agenda yeah. that came in that is a big deal. Yeah. that um, is the contract agreement yeah. with Amtrak. That is one of the big things that we've been working on, and um, I am excited to present to council for consideration to get that underway. Great. Is that on our agenda? No. no. It is not. Okay. Just checking. I'm not missing something. Okay. Uh, is that concluded then, that item? Okay. Discussion items. So uh, we, we, we need to move, right? Yeah. Oh, motion, sorry. Do this one? Yes. I will let me pull I'm all the way back up to the top of this document. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> motion to, uh, I motion to um, recommend that we that council approve the proposal for extended architectural construction documentation and revised construction administration services for Narmouth Bridge. I'll say second. Anything on. anything to move the Nar Narmouth Bridge along. Yeah, as we just said, yeah, I know. This is not oh, I know. It doesn't hold it up. <laughs> I'm going to emphasize that. Yeah. People at home. Yep. Uh, all in favor of that? We are all in favor of that. Very good. And if I could um, bring your attention to an additional action item that was added to the council agenda for this evening. If you remember, uh, two months ago, there was a motion to authorize the borough to sell borough property. We sold several uh, vehicles, police vehicles and public works vehicles. One of those vehicles failed to be picked up, and so we had to rebid it. It, did, it just didn't go through. 
So we rebid it, and um, so tonight's resolution, they didn't feel as though this committee needed to hear it since it was already, it was already heard uh, previously. Um, so tonight's resolution will be explaining that, yes, council had previously approved the sale of this vehicle. It did not go through. We rebid it, and the current price is listed in the resolution. And according to my sources, the person is supposed to pick it up tomorrow. As the last vehicle that we that we have on sale, Same is it, price does it or? have to come back to us because the price is different? Yes. Or? Yeah. If it was an identical price, we we're hoping it was going to be an identical price, but it wasn't. I think it was a couple hundred bucks less. So within striking distance. Great. Okay. Discussion items. A, records clerk office assistant job advertisement update. Thank you, I was just going through a number of applications. So, um, as of today, I have received seven applications for the position, and I'm encouraged by what I'm seeing. I think there's some creative uh, options here, and as of right now, I think they are all interviewable. We, I have not really done a deep dive into uh, the applications yet. Um, I'm going to be saving all of that material into a folder and having Alan and uh, Chief String um, be included in the interviewing, reviewing and interviewing process. Since if you remember, this position also includes support services for our police department. And so it will be the three of us leading the interviews, and we're hoping to, um, we're going to identify the interviewees late next week. We're hoping that we get the interview scheduled re realistically the second week of July, since that first week of July is July 4th. Yeah. It's just going to be a tough week for everybody. So um, realistically, we're, we're shooting for that second week of July uh, for interviews. Okay, great. Uh, B, 80 Windsor Avenue maintenance repairs. We've got a lot of updates for you all tonight. So. <laughs> If you checked the meeting packet late or this afternoon, I did add the most up-to-date uh, project status report for the 80 Windsor Avenue um, project. Uh, we are 95% complete with the roof reinforcement project. If you remember, council chose not to award the bid for, I'm calling them the maintenance items, uh, repairing the cracks, painting, those sorts of things. In the meantime, since we have bid the project, awarded the bid, discussed with the Narborough Borough Industrial Development Authority, the Girl Scouts, and the library folks, we have come up with a list of things that I'm calling maintenance items for each of the three rooms, keeping each room separate, developed a list of things that were needs, and then we asked for quotes from the contractor who was there, who had mobilization costs since they were already there. And I'm pleased to report that we have identified $25,000 total of, of, of projects that, we, that we're going to move forward with across all three um, buildings. The borough's outlay will be just under $5,000. Hmm. You're going to say, hey, wait, how did we do that? I am pleased to announce that, and once we get this all finalized, you know, we'll, we'll make a, a bigger deal about it, but I wanted to let this committee know that the Girl Scouts and Library have committed $5,000 each towards wow. this project, and our Industrial Development Authority, I've been working directly with them, and the Chair David Bordeaux, um, to work on a scenario that they would match any contributions from any of the three users they would match it up to 100%, 100% up to $5,000 for each. So the borough is getting $20,000 in contributions to help us maintain the building. So um, hats off to the Industrial Development Authority, David Bordeaux, um, especially for taking it upon himself to make those connections with the Girl Scout and Library and American Legion to have those conversations, explain what they were willing to do, and it's really benefiting the borough. Thankfully, there won't be any action for council to take because that, let's just call it $5,000, um, 
is well within the budgeted amount that we have for the maintenance of 80 Windsor Avenue. Now, each each entity has to raise the five thousand dollars yes. to get the respective matches. That's so correct. If something goes over, it doesn't. They still cap at five. That's correct. So we're not guaranteed to have that complete coverage unless we know that there's already commitments from each other. There are other. commitments. Oh. Yes. They've already committed each of them to they have. Us. Oh, wow. They have committed in writing. Fantastic. Yes. Okay. It is a done deal. While wow. I have not received the checks, it yes. is it is a negotiation. Yes. Huh? That's, That's awesome. awesome. So we are uh, we're ninety five percent through with the roof reinforcement project. They've been doing some of these maintenance projects at the end here to infill. There was a delay with one of the metal brackets for the support beams. So they've been doing some of these maintenance repairs. So there was an electrical thing. Yeah, yeah, that was a change order. Um, that was that's also on tonight's agenda, a council agenda, a change order to replace some electrical. I'm hoping, in, in, not hoping. I'm, I'm planning on having a ribbon cutting for the entire facility once it gets complete. The upgrades are made, repainting, everything done. The library, American Legion, and um, the Girl Scouts have a ribbon cutting just you know so council has an opportunity to promote their investment of half a million dollars to keep that historic building of 80 wins are at so put that on your radar I don't know any, that's all I've got I, don't, I haven't gotten too, I haven't gotten further than that yeah cool do we still have those giant scissors we do oh we have giant scissors yes we do I know where they are okay awesome oh and also as a wait there's more um, Shout out to Jeff Eldon, who was able to secure free LED lighting um, from Pico, and the contractor has reinstalled them for free for all of the spaces. Mm -hmm. So oh, we wow. have we've done a free wow. LED lighting retrofit. Amazing. That's awesome. Yeah. And you can land small airplanes now because yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so in the shop, they're bright. Yeah. Yes. So we might need to do some fine tuning, especially American Legion. It's really bright. So we're yeah. working on yeah. fine tuning. They must be dimmable though, right? Because I don't believe they are. No. Oh really? I don't okay. think these are, but I believe hmm. these okay. fixtures are like you can turn like dimmable meaning like a dimmer switch won't work for them. But I think they're allowed I think they're able to dim the fixtures themselves. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I mean. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of like the street lights. They're like yes. three different settings. Yes. That's my understanding. Okay. Very good. Cool. Does, he, does good he have like a secret contact at Pico? How, how did he? I think he does. That's, That's awesome. awesome. He just don't ask. Can we use the secret contact at Pico to get, get their bus <laughs> off on the bridge? Okay. Well, big thanks to Jeff Eldon. Yeah. And yeah. Big thanks to David Bordeaux. Yeah. Well, yeah. This is all yeah. good news. Certainly, when we do the ribbon cutting, given that we have these third party donations, we should. Yeah. Oh, they're going to talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking to the Girl Scouts already, and Christine Weatherwax is ours. Oh, we can have we'll do the, have the girls do this, 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 and have it as a recruiting event. Yeah. All right. Great. Sounds, Sounds good. Get some, some cookies. You know, sure. <laughs> thin mints. I see where you're going. With that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. A sleeve for, for you. Yes. A sleeve yeah. for you. Yeah. 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 Exactly. I don't know about you. Two Kate. sleeves <laughs> for me. One sleeve. For me. <laughs> All right. All right. That's wonderful. All right, well, shall we move on uh, to our rules and procedures of council? Our months long project is drawing to a close. I think we've talked about everything we could possibly talk about. Yep. Yeah, so. Save for a few questions we have for the solicitor. Um, we're accumulating those questions uh, so we can make sure that our final draft is as, as legal as possible. That's, yeah, that seem about where we are. Yep. Okay. So, advice. and I added one. Yeah, I saw comment that. for the solicitor. Just make sure we're. There's an online document I created and put it in the folder. And yes, you guys have added to it. Um, I would say we shouldn't talk about what we're asking the solicitor because in theory that could waive attorney-client privilege. So. Really? Yeah. Well, if, okay. if we tell the public what we're asking the solicitor, now we've waived the privilege of 
questions that were asked. Okay, we should probably say they all have to do with with core. Yeah, questions. quorum requirements. Quorum requirements yeah. mostly yeah. are um, for committees. Yeah, it's and basically procedural guidance. Yeah, yeah procedural yeah. guidance for you know in light of online versus in person. And it's all stuff we've talked about at the previous meeting, so I don't know why there's there's no secret about this. Okay, but we'll soon we'll finish this online document and we'll send it on to Fred said that that's the way we should do it. Send yeah. it on to John yeah. and get some answers. And we could probably produce a final draft sometime between this month yeah. and next month. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I'd like to, you know, we've been doing this piecemeal. Yeah. I would like to look at it as a whole. Like, Definitely. Yeah. You know, just take a little while just to look at the whole thing before we present it. So we, we could work with that ongoing draft that we have. Yeah. That we all I, have access I think to. so. And, and I guess they're the only, yeah, the only thing I would add to speaking speak generically was in the rule, in the, the prior, in the rules as they exist, there was a, a section that's like bracketed that says, I forget exactly what it says. Like something about like uh, this is you know fill in the procedure for this other thing here, but then it doesn't actually say what the procedure for that is. All right. So I, maybe we ask Walco what okay. the state law says about whatever. I forget what, whatever that thing was. Okay. Well, we'll go back. I'll take a look at what the existing rules say, and we can add that in. Okay. To our kind of question for. Yeah. Okay, you can add that to the question. Yeah. Okay, super. And would you like to con you want to continue uh, being the drafty drafter of the? Yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, yeah, happy to do so. Thank you so much. You've done such a good job. Yeah, I, lo I love parliamentary procedures. I know. <laughs> I know. And we're and I'm a big fan. A big nerd <laughs> <light of> the <laughs> Somebody, somebody's got to know Robert's rules. Okay? <laughs> it's not me. So we have a copy of it in the corner. That's okay. Yeah. Oh, I just, <laughs> I got my hole in the corner, too. Yeah. You know, I don't know I need the... <clears throat> okay, so I think there's nothing left to talk about tonight on that. Yeah. Um, now, item D, Boards and Commissions Review. This is an item I asked to be added to our agenda. This is from our uh, council goals and objectives that we recently adopted uh, in council. This is uh, fairly... It's actually, well, I was going to say it's a fairly low priority item, but no, it's a medium priority item, uh, which is review of boards and commissions uh, with an eye to right-sizing them. You know, if they're, maybe they're too big or too small. Um, and um, yeah, I know there are a number, well, there are a couple of commissions that have been hard, or more challenging than others to keep full we might want to have a, a look at what those are, whether they're functioning the way they are, they were intended, and what we might do about them um, to uh, either adjust their mission or adjust their size or wh whatever, and uh, find out ways we can uh, populate them with willing volunteers. Yeah. Do we have a sense of what the current, do we have any, um, do we have any pending applicants who have submitted for vacancies, or those are all? Okay. I was trying. I kept trying to talk to people, and yeah. a, lot, a number of folks have said, "Oh, I'm going to apply." Yeah, yeah. So, so then I, I never saw the their names thing. show up, so I wasn't. Sure I had two. I got feedback from one person who, who really intends to apply, but she thinks the the application is a little cumbersome, and uh, maybe that. Well, I mean, the serving on a. <laughs> Right. Yeah. If you can't. You know, <laughs> I might say if you can't fill out a two-page application. It, you know what? It is a little. It might be a little over detailed. We might want to look at that too. Yeah. Just to see what. It's a bit much. It is. Yeah. Do we really want to know someone's entire employment history? We don't really need to do that. Relevant. Relevant. For their relevant entire employment history. Yeah. I think it. That we should ask for relevant. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, if you want an architect on the planning commission, you want. Sure. Maybe we have enough architects. Sure. Like, but yeah. yeah, I you know I certainly do want to know what they've done professionally to the extent that it. Mm. Let's have a look at that. Yeah. To yeah. Read through, read through I also through think there out. should be we should at some point well advertise like basically a job the equivalent of a job fair for the boards and commissions. So try and get our current 
chairs of the commissions to come here and anybody who might be interested. Because I've had yeah. you know, two people say, oh yeah, I'm interested in civil service and their application hasn't shown up either. <laughs> so it's like, maybe we, I don't know, maybe we have kind of a job fair, have the different heads of the commissions or other commissioners you know, all show up together and yeah. kind of explain what they do, how right. often they meet. You know, that's the other question I get is like, how much of a commitment is this? And I think it really varies a lot. What if we had? What if we made little videos or something, like little sort of almost like fireside chat? Yeah. That, you know, the talk, talk, <laughs> talk briefly about yeah. what the committee does. Yeah. You know, like the same five questions. Yeah. How often do you meet? How yeah. much of a time? Yeah. Commitment? Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Um, well, the good news really is that most of these committees are full, in fact, you know, and um, uh, but we might want to interview those committee heads anyway and see what their sense of how maybe how fragile their membership is. Like, you know, are they aware that you know, one or two people are, have been itching to leave, perhaps? You know. um, but there have been there are some like uh, HRC. Yeah, it is supposed to be seven seats on the Human Rights Commission, and there are four vacancies. So I had a question about that. Is it statutorily in state law as seven? There's not, I mean, our Human Relations Commission can have as many commissioners as we want. It's, we're an independent, mm -hmm. that is a, like, there's the Pennsylvania Human Relations Commission, it's its own entity, every municipal, lots of municipalities don't even have Human Relations Commissions, there's nothing, there's no enabling legislation or anything. I, for some reason I thought there was, because they have like, they have like subpoena authority. Yes, they do. So, the... Pennsylvania Human Relations Act contemplates that there may be local and uh, municipal human relations commissions. Okay. And so there's kind of a general enabling ordinance that, because basically you, if you file a charge of discrimination, you can't file with both the state and local agency. You can file with the state or the local agency and the feds. You can't like file with the Philadelphia Commission on Human Relations and the Pennsylvania Commission. It's a little more complicated than that. It depends on what, like what, um, what remedies you have. So the remedies have to be equivalent, mm -hmm. which we have much more limited remedies. Um, but there's nothing that says that I know that says your local commissions have to have a limited number. Our ordinance, I only know this because I was kind of involved behind the scenes in drafting ordinance. We did it off of a model that was generally being used by local ordinances. So it was put together by some advocacy groups and whatever. So that may be where the seven came from. I guess we should probably ask some folks on council at the time why they said seven. But it is a lot for a commission that. Yeah. Here's, I mean, I don't, I don't think they've heard a formal charge since they've existed. Would Norwich? Yeah. Yeah, just recently. We actually had a hearing. Yes. For a formal charge. And it was okay. not successful. No. Okay. Was like recently, as in when they still had four vacancies. Yeah, I mean, this was. The end of 2023, beginning of 2023. Yeah. Okay. Were, they, were they able to meet quorums? No, no, at that time there were, I think, two more people yeah. on. Okay, so. Okay. Okay. so the conclusion of that is when we got the resignations for oh, two of the members. Interesting. Oh, so the, okay. just to be clear, because there's two different processes there's like the mediation process and the formal hearing. So we actually did formal hearing. Yeah. So I think each of these committees is going to have. Its own characteristic issues. Do we do we want to pick some to just target to consider? Or um, like I think some of these, you know, are not controversial. Like police pension it has to have three seats, right? We need it. it. Have to be those people, and it's full, so it's not a problem. Do we really? We don't need to. There's no right sizing to be done yeah. on police pensions, yeah. right? I mean, maybe what we should do is ask, like, pick two and ask them to comment yeah. to each meeting and sort of just oh. give us an update. Two at each meeting? Yeah. 
and say, like, how are you doing? Do you need more people? Do you need, do you, need do you feel like you need more people to function? Even that would take us a while. Because right. there are yep. one, two, three, four, five, yeah, 12 committees. So it would take us half a year yeah. to do that. I know. But maybe definitely we should start with the Human Rights Commission at least. Well, they just, I mean, they have so many vacancies mm -hmm. and for a, like, they fill a very important role, and it seems clear to me that, like, it's not like we can, it's not like we can just combine them with another thing, because they have, like, a, they have a really defined... No, they, they're, specific yeah, function. under our yeah. ordinance, they have yeah. to exist right. independently. Right. Sure. So, I guess, then, but it sounds like, uh the number of people who sit on it may be, um, there may be a policy lever there if we have ongoing vacancy. And it's such a highly specific body that when I've been trying to like get the word out about some of these vacancies of boards and commissions, I mean, that's, that's, a, that's been a difficult one to try to fill, right? Because you need like a highly specific kind of like experience set. Yeah. I mean, you really want people who either have a background in discrimination but you also want to have people who don't necessarily only represent one side, or maybe you could balance the panel as a whole with some primarily plaintiffs versus defendants. Mm -hmm. um, Do folks yeah. get like a, what's a do CLE for serving on these sorts of bodies? No. No. Nope. Do you get anything? Nope. Donuts? Donuts. <laughs> Something? Brownie points? Yeah. Brownie points. I mean, you know, it's a good for your resume if you're an employment lawyer to serve on a human relations. So my perspective is that maybe the first exercise for this committee would be to look at all of the boards and commissions. Are all of those boards and commissions relevant? If yes, okay, how many of those have vacancies? And what's the membership requirements of each one of these? Because chances are, I don't, I'm guessing council's not going to want to remove boards and commissions. So let's say we have a, we, we maintain all of our boards and commissions. Norworth is a, a town of 4,500 people. Public service is a challenge in every community. And here we're behind the eight ball and that we have fewer people to pick from. And so if council wants to continue having the amount, the, the number of boards and commissions, maybe right-sizing it with the no, total number of members is then the next thing to look at. Mm -hmm. Shrink the size, yeah. therefore you can increase the pool of, of, of applicants. Yeah. yeah, I was wondering about that about EAC too, which has one vacancy, but they do have turnover. Uh, they have seven, yeah. supposed to have seven people in EAC. We could ask them about whether they feel they need seven that, you know, mm -hmm. to get their job, their work done. And I mean, and there's like also, if, you know, you shrunk a body from seven to five, mm -hmm. call it, um, and they're still interested, you all, we, you have the alternate kind of position that can be used to, right. to, to fill in and, and allow folks to, who yeah. have interest to kind of come into that role and then they're teed up for future ratings. Do we need to specify which committees have alternates? Like I know some committees do have alternates. I think it would be wise to yeah. just go and do a laundry list of members, voting members, non-voting members, alternates. We, we list the, the alternates, like it says alternate member, so mm -hmm. I think you can Right, say, like, but like civil service doesn't show an alternate member, but the civil service regulations provide for so we don't have an alternate. So we don't have a we're I, supposed to. I, we're supposed to, and we're also a member short. I think. So we should be advertising that. See, I, I didn't even know about that one. Yeah. So, so this will be a, this will be a, a worthwhile exercise. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's arguably one of the more important. Yeah. Civil Service Commission. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the good news is, you know, if nothing's happening, nothing's happening. But when you have that police officer opening, where Sergeant opening, like you have to be ready to go. You know, you know, it's, no, it takes a ridiculously long time yes. to fill the position, even if the day after somebody resigns, you start on it. Just the whole application process, the time frames for the exam, the whole thing. It's you know a minimum of like a five month process, and that's assuming you're ready to go the day after you know that you have an opening. So. Yeah. So really, the big glaring committee commission is. The human rights 
Maybe should we invite Rebecca Starr as the chair? Yeah. yeah. Should we invite her in? Yeah. Talk about it? Yeah. At a public meeting? Is that the way to do it? Or should we? I think they should be paid special attention just because of their situation. Yeah. 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 But should we do it at a public meeting? Yeah. Or is it something we should just talk to her? She feels comfortable coming to an FDA meeting okay. to talk. Yeah. Okay. I think yeah. we should invite her to come. Um, do we want to invite anybody else? I mean, you mentioned two, two per meeting, or is there you could kind of, I don't know. Maybe I was thinking like I'm just divide and conquer amongst the three of you. If each of you want to like divide and talk to some chairs of each of the boards and commissions yourselves individually, okay. Kind of feedback. Well, maybe that's a better way to do it. Yeah, more efficient. Because there's twelve of them, right? Okay. There's three of you, so four each. Hey, that's yeah. great. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then. Sounds good. You know, if any of them feel like you might find that they might they might tell you like, oh, everything's like good. I don't really think we need any changes. Um, and then you know, but the ones who think of things, maybe then we invite them out and they can talk about yeah. what they feel is best for their board or commission or, you know. Yeah. Okay. Maybe you want to do that? Yeah. Can we do I that? I like that idea. Okay. Yeah, we'll do All right. Paper. All right. I will send you guys some. Yeah. Assignments. You might as well give me civil sure. service. Okay. 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 All right. Civil service goes to Sal. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Okay. Great. Should move along. Good start. Yeah. Move along is basically finishing the meeting. So yeah. 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 Review uh, of ongoing just, projects. Six minutes. Um, I'll just mention for information that this committee is developing and will administer uh, review questions for the uh, manager review, mid-year manager review. We do that. We don't do that in public, though. I'm just letting you know we're going to do it uh, starting over the end of the month. Um, any th other ongoing projects? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Don't speak so. now. Mm -hmm. Public comment. I see Ira is here. Ira, you want to talk? Say anything? Uh, sure. I'll just uh, tell you something from my days of. Uh, um, administering uh, administration, uh, we had what we called the committee and committees, which is sort of like what you were just describing. The committee or a committee, yeah. a com yeah, committee and committee. Yeah. The review. But yours is, I guess, a committee and board and commission. Yeah. yeah. So that's essentially what we're acting as. <laughs> Uh, it was always uh, it was always a point of some amusement that we had a committee. Who was on that? Who was on the committee of committees? Oh no, it was at it was at work. Oh, it was at work. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay, got it. Well, that's an idea <coughs> to have like a like a, yeah. like a yeah. committee of committees or review committee, yeah. or we could just do it ourselves. That's, that's, that's us. We are making it ourselves. Let's, let's see how it goes. Like yeah. 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 yeah, we'll be. Okay. No, we're the committee yeah. of committees. <laughs> Done. Uh, anyone else for public comment? Public comment. Anybody up seeing, there? seeing no more public comment. Let's close public comment and let's move for adjournment. Move to adjourn. Second. Um, all in favor of adjourning? Yes. Adjourn. Thank you, everybody. Good night.